Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. If this is your first time here, welcome, glad to have you. Consider liking and subscribing if you're interested in this content. And today we're gonna to be building off of a previous video series that I did, World of Warcraft DIY botting. Check that video out if you haven't seen it and you're gonna to wanna to follow that whole tutorial. Today is gonna to build on that. So Staff, Ank, Kroll, Breving, E4022, sorry. I don't know how to say your name. You made a really great comment today. You said, hey, I love this stuff, but how are we gonna actually use this? All, all we're doing is reporting, and that's a really great comment. I'm really glad you brought that up. So today's tutorial is we're gonna start building off of what we made last time, which is a totally viable bot that monitors health, and we're gonna start making actions off of that. So just to remind people what we've got, we have a bot so this is my computer vision running right now. This is my health bar chopped out here on the uh, top left hand corner. And then I've just got this image here just so I can get the colors. So you can see that when I move this, my health bar, the amount of green in my health bar is sliding around accordingly. So I'm just simulating like the health bar was moving in WoW. And you can see that my health is dynamically changing very fast, updating with that. So 20, 100, 20, 100. So we've got a great signal uh, of our health right now. So let's build some Python code that's gonna use that so we can actually start making decisions. So let's build a heal bot. Let's start with a very simple bot that's gonna look at the health as an input and it's gonna make a decision when to heal as an output. So let's program that now. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new Python file. I'm gonna call mine healbot.py. And inside of healbot.py, we're gonna be using the pyautoGUI library. Now, if you don't remember, the pyautoGUI library is gonna give us a lot of functionality as far as automation regarding the mouse and the keyboard. So this is what's actually gonna be casting our spells based on the input uh, from the from the screen. So we're gonna have a floating point value, a percentage of our health, and we're gonna have to have some logic and some programming that's gonna make a decision, and then it's gonna tell PyAuto GUI to do something like cast heal. So that's what we're gonna to build today. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna create a dictionary, and the dictionary is gonna contain a list of the spells that we have available to us and the related hotkeys or commands. So in our case, just to keep things simple for the tutorial, let's just assume that we have like a big heal and a small heal. So, you know, paladins have flash, what is it, flash of light and holy light and things like that. Let's just call it big heal, small heal, something like that. So I'm gonna create a, dic a dictionary called spells. And let's make this a dictionary. And let's have the first one, we'll call this maybe big heal. And let's assign this with a one. And then let's have small heal, and we'll assign this two. So again, this list of spells could be a lot more specific to a class, and it could obviously be more than just healing. I'm just trying to create a framework here for you guys. So this could be flash of light, this could be holy light, you could also have a stun on here, whatever. The point is, is that when we call a spell by name, like flash of light, big heal, small heal, we want to get the hotkey or the command back. So what's gonna happen is when we call big heal, it's gonna tell PyAuto GUI, press the one key. So the assumption here is that the one key, in this case, is on my taskbar. It's gonna be where, so in this case, I have a paladin, holy shock. So holy shock would be this one key. I'm gonna tell PyAuto GUI, press the one key. Or here's flash of light, it looks like. Press the two key for flash of light. So that's how we're gonna, we're gonna set this up. So this is our dictionary, our spell list. Keep in mind we could make this a lot bigger. Okay, now that we have a list of spells, we wanna create a function that's gonna be able to cast a spell. So to cast a spell, we're going to pass in the spell's name as an argument to our function, like cast holy light, so holy light. And then the output is gonna be pyautoGUI actually executing our command and actually commanding the game, pressing the keyboard, pressing the hotkey or the key combination that we want to actually execute that spell 
uh, just like we would in the game by pressing the keyboard or the mouse or whatever. So let's create that function. So we'll define cast spell and we're going to pass in a spell as an argument. So that's the name of the spell. So we'll call the spell name as our argument. And what we're going to do is we're going to convert that spell name into the key or the key combination. So we can call this key combination is going to equal and we're going to, we're going to access our dictionary. So we're going to access our spells dictionary. We're going to pass in that spell name as the key. Remember, our spell name is the key to our dictionary. That's going to return our key combination or you know single key in this case. And then what we're going to do is after we get that key combination, let's just call this key. So after we get the key that we're going to press on our keyboard, we're going to ask PyAutoGUI to actually execute that. So we'll say PyAutoGUI.press and then we're going to pass in our key. So that's really simple, really simple code here. So Let's actually test this out real quick. So to do that, go down a little bit and let's create a function here or a, an entry point, I should say. So we'll say if underscore underscore name equals underscore underscore main. So this is going to let us run this uh, Python file, execute the code in here. We're going to say, um, let's test this out. So we'll say cast spell and let's put in big heel. And the expectation is, is that I'll go down a couple lines. When I run this, I should see the number one here in my IDE, not because I'm pressing it, but because PyAuto GUI is pressing the one key for me. So let's try this out. And there you go. See, it populated that one. So that's working well. So very simple, just a couple lines of code, guys. We could, we could add to the spell list and as long as it was in our spell dictionary, our dictionary of spells, this simple little function here is going to tell PyAuto GUI, give me the spell name and I'll cast it by actually pressing the keyboard or mouse or whatever. Just five lines of code, that's awesome. Okay, since we're kind of in the process of testing and debugging this thing, let's also add a print here. So other than just pressing that key, Let's actually comment it out because as you guys know from my other videos, those key presses from PyAuto GUI can get annoying if your code's running and it's pressing keys and it's messing up your IDE and your code. It gets confusing. So comment out your key press for now. We can bring that back in easily. <clears throat> and let's put in a, a print statement and we'll just say casting, you know, um, we can make this a formatted string like this. So we'll say casting and then we can put the spell name in there so we, we know what it's casting. And we can use this for debugging for right now for testing before we deploy this thing and the key presses are all over the place. So if I run this code again, let's just try this out. It should say casting big heel, perfect. Okay, that's what I wanna see. So let's use this as our framework for our spell cast. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump back over to the other code that we had from the other video series and we're gonna pull this code into it and we're gonna use this in the logic over there to start making decisions. So let's jump over to the other code. Okay, so I'm back in AI screencapture.py. This is my most recent version. And what I did was I copied healbot.py in there. So make sure that these are in the same folder. If they're not, you have to use the file paths in the import function here to make sure you import your healbot.py file wherever you saved it. Easiest thing to do is save it in the same folder, which is what I've done here. So let's import healbot.py. So we'll do import healbot, that's gonna import this file. Now we're gonna have access to those functions and we can test this out. So if I go to my if underscore underscore name equals underscore underscore main, what I can do is just at the top here, just for debug purposes, we'll say healbot.cast spell and we'll put in big heal. And this should call that print statement on this, uh, you know, on this client. So let's try that out. Make sure it's working. There you go. So casting big heal. So we know it's working. Okay. So let's kill that. So we have access now to all of the functions that are in healbot. So within healbot.py, 
this is where we would build all of our logic about what spells to cast, you know, what's our library of spells, and you know, the casting is very simple. So we have access to all this now. Okay, so let's get started with a kind of an easy heal bot, just so that we got something that's starting to become functional. So we have this function here called hue match percent. So what this does is, again, this takes those green pixels and it calculates what percent of them are green and that roughly gives us our overall health in percentage. So all green, 100% health. 50% 50, 50 green, about 50% health. So let's use that to do some logic, to make some logic, and we can use that to call the heals as appropriate under certain situations. So this is kind of a very easy implementation. So instead of returning this immediately, let's save this np.round. This is gonna be our percentage number. Let's save this, so we'll call this uh, percent health equals. So we'll save that as a variable. And we still wanna return that though, because the rest of the functionality is gonna depend on that. So all I've done here is instead of just directly returning it, we're gonna save it in this variable before we return it. And what we'll do is we'll say, if percent health is less than or equal to 70, since we're in percentage, then we'll do cast, oops, we'll do healbot.castspell, and we'll do a small heal. And what we can do is we can say elif, else if, percent health is less than or equal to 50, so if we're under 50%, then we'll throw a big heal out. Okay, this is kind of a very basic logic. So if we've got a little bit of life off, throw a small heal out. If we've got a 50, if we take a big hit, 50% health down, start casting a big heal. So this is kind of a really rudimentary way to get started. And what we can do is we can run this code now, we can test this and see, uh, again, I've, I've turned off the key process to avoid the annoyance. We can just watch the console and we can see, is it casting the right spell at the right time? If it is, we would know that it would also be pressing the right key at the right time. So let's, let's try this out. So I'm gonna run my program. So I've got my bot running. And you can see I'm casting a small heal. Oh, there's a, there's a bug in my code. I just realized. It's casting the small heal because when I'm at 50% health, this is true, and it casts small heal, and then this never happens. So that's a bug. Glad I caught that. So really, let's, let's move this before the other one. So for below 50, let's cast the big heal and then what we'll do is otherwise if we're below 70 we cast the small heal so that was a bug sorry about that fix that let's run it again okay so you can see I'm at zero health and it's trying to cast a big heal that's a good sign so you see I'm at 100% health and you see the FPS is on the screen here so 8.88 so the FPS is updating every few seconds. I'm at 100% health, it's not casting heal. Now if I move this health bar a little bit, let's see here. So I'm at 69%, now it's trying to cast the small heal. And if I move down, now it's casting big heal. Very cool. So in a sense guys, just with that little bit of code, we've already imp implemented a bot that's now gonna read our health and it's gonna try to cast the appropriate heal. Now this is really rudimentary. I'm gonna keep this tutorial short, get this thing working, test it out on your game or test it out on another game. And then on the next video, let's come back and look at this. We, we wanna add some more functionality. For example, we don't want this thing spamming, heal, 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 heal. We want it to know, okay, I've hit the heal button, now there's a cooldown. So we can add that functionality, but you can see with just a couple lines of code, we've already got a bot that's able to make decisions here. Really cool stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, and like I said, keep in mind, this is functional. So if you go back, if you go back and enable this line of code, it's gonna start working. It's actually gonna be pressing the key. Okay, let's try this out. I'm gonna run this now. 
with the key enabled so you can see that it's going to spam it. It's really going to work. Let's try this out. So here I go. Oh, we got to change one other thing. We don't want we don't want to cast a heal when we start this thing. That was just our debug line. So you can remove that. All right, let's try this again. So when I start up the client, it's not going to detect any not detecting any health so it's trying to hit heal 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 that's our big heal okay guys well that's it for today thanks for watching remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video have a great day